TX Visu Pro is a modern software package used for creating powerful user-friendly graphical user interfaces on Turk's TX HMIs. In this video, we are going to teach you the basics of how to use TX Visu Pro to program and create a visualization on a Turk TX HMI. By the end of this video, you will be able to prepare equipment and software for a Turk HMI project. You will know how to use variables, and you will be able to add simple graphic elements to your HMI. For this tutorial, you will need a TX HMI, in this case we are using the TX710 HMI, a double-ended RJ45 cord set, and a PC. Let's download and install TX Visu Pro. First, let's download and install Turk Software Manager by going to www.turk.com forward slash TSM. This is Turk's software repository, where you can find all Turk-related software in one place. With the Turk Software Manager opened, click the plus symbol next to Control and HMI, and click the selection box next to TX Visu Pro. The TX710 used in this tutorial is an HMI PLC device. It uses Codasys Service Pack 12 to program the control part of it. If you do not have Codasys installed in your PC, select the checkbox next to Codasys Service Pack 12. We will also select the checkbox next to Codasys TSP for the TX700. These are used as configuration files for the TX700 device in Codasys. Lastly, with the necessary item selected, click the download button on Turk Software Manager and follow the installation prompts. With TX Visu Pro downloaded and installed, let's open up TX Visu Pro. Let's first make ourselves familiar with the user interface of the TX Visu Pro software. You have the toolbar, the object view, which gives you the tree view of the widgets sorted by pages, the project view, which allows you to view project objects in the hierarchical project tree, and the properties area, which allows you to view and change the properties of the selected object. Now let's take the first step and create a TX Visu Pro project. After double clicking the TX Visu Pro icon, you will see the TX Visu Pro start window. First, you can create a new project by clicking on the Create a New Document icon in the upper left corner. This opens the Project Assistant, where you can give the project a name and select the location where you want to save it. Once you have given the project a name, click Next. The device catalog will open, in which all Turk HMIs and the device properties are shown. Once you have selected the HMI you are connected to, click Finish. The runtime for using the TX Visu Pro software is provided with the software itself and does not need to be downloaded separately. To install the runtime, click Run and then select Manage Target. In the Manage Target window, select your device from the drop down list. A message appears indicating that your device does not have the TX Visu Pro runtime. Click OK. Click the Install Runtime button to start the installation process. Confirm the installation process by clicking OK. While the device is booting, you can open the system settings via tap-tap mode to activate the TX Visu Pro runtime. The factory default HMI will have the Codasys runtime installed. You will have to deactivate it to use TX Visu Pro. In the system settings on the HMI, press Startup Sequence. There, the Codasys runtime is currently still activated under Boot Sequence. Select the Codasys runtime and press the arrow key to move it to the Installed Apps area. Then, select the TX Visu Pro runtime and press the arrow key to move it to the Boot Sequence area. Press the Done button to complete the activation, and then click on Start HMI. This will automatically load the active project from the TX Visu Pro software. Let's go over how to make a template for this project. The template is a type of background that can be used for each page. To create a template page, right-click on Templates and select Insert New Template Page. Give the page a new name and then click OK. We would like for this template to contain the Turk logo as a bar on the top of this page. To do this, we can drag an image from the widget gallery into the empty page. To fill this empty page with a pre-selected Turk logo image, you have to enter the source of the image in the image path. To do this, select the Properties field and click the three dots to open the search menu. Select the appropriate image and click Open. 
For the correct formatting, you have to deactivate the Scale to Fit setting so the image will not be adapted to the current image formatting. You can do this by setting the Scale to Fit to False. Then you can set the position of the logo by setting the X and Y coordinates to zero and then changing the height and width of the image. You can now use this template as a background on all pages. To change the current page name, right-click on page 1, and then on Rename Page. Type in the desired name and select Enter. To create a new page, right-click on Pages, and click Insert New Page. Enter a new name for the page, and then click OK. The Start page can now be filled with content. On the right side, you will find the different properties of the page, such as the size, background color, and which template is selected. To add your created template, select the template Turk Logo from the drop-down list. You can do the same for the second page. For this tutorial, a demo setup is used, which consists of a TX710 and a DX80 system. The DX80 gateway is directly connected to the serial interface of the TX710. The DX80 node is connected to a temperature and humidity sensor. The sensor data is exported in the Codasys project using a .xml file for TX Visio Pro. A symbol configuration must be inserted in the Codasys project for this. The variables to be exported must be marked with a checkmark. In addition, the access rights must be defined. After compiling and downloading the program into the device, the .xml file is located at the storage location of your project. The .xml list can be opened with Notepad. The list contains various information, including general information about the Codasys version used, project name, and the application name. The entries contain the variables selected in Codasys. Your Codasys project can of course look completely different, but the described elements should be included. Back in TX Visio Pro, you must now insert the list of your variables into the project. To do this, you must first add a protocol. Double click on protocol to open the protocols menu. Click the plus symbol to add a new protocol, and then select the control type from the drop down list. As you can see, there are many different control manufacturers to choose from. In this case, we will select the Codasys V3 Ethernet controller. In the settings window, Enter the IP address of the HMI and click OK. Next, you will have to upload the XML list. To do this, double click on Tags to open up the Tags menu. You will see that the protocol you just created has been selected automatically. To upload the list of variables, click Import Tags. In the window, select Codasys 3 XML v1.0 in linear and click OK. In the browser window, Choose your generated XML list and select Open. You will now see your variables in the lower window. Select the variables in the lower window and move them to the upper window area with the Import Tags button. You can now use the variables in your project. After you have imported your variables, you can now start using simple widgets. Since we want to have this Home button on every page, you can add this Home button to your template. You can find the button in the Widget Gallery in the button section. Here, you can choose from a large selection of button styles. You can also design your button. In this example, the button will not have a frame. It will be yellow in color and will have a house symbol to designate that it is a home button. After dragging your button into the visualization, you should adjust the size and position of the button to make it more user friendly. After that, you will have to give the button a function. You can do this by opening the events under Properties. This example uses the on mouse click. Clicking on the plus opens a list of possible actions. As you can see, there is a large selection of actions to choose from. To change the page, click the plus symbol next to page and select Load Page. 
On the right side of the window, click the plus symbol and select the page you want to open. Select both pages and then click OK. On both of your pages, you can now find the inserted home button. This will allow you to navigate to the start page from all other pages. Now let's add a label from the area of basic under the widget gallery. Select text slash numeric from the drop down menu. After you have inserted your text and changed the font, click OK. You will see that you can still change the font, but the size of the label will not change when you adjust the font. By selecting the item Size to Fit, you can adjust the window to the font size. You can edit your label and move it to a desired position. Next, you can add a button to get to the page with your process data. The procedure is the same as for the Home button. You can choose the logo, color, size, and position of the button freely. TX Visio Pro provides assistance with the positioning of your individual elements by means of guidelines. After positioning the button, you have to define the action like you did for the first button. Now we would like to visualize our process data. To do this, go to the corresponding page of your project. There is a lot of flexibility for the design of your visualization. In this example, a small table is created with the help of labels in which the process data is entered. You have already learned how to configure a label, and you could use the same process to create other label elements. In this example, these elements have been prepared already. After you have prepared your page, you will have to insert your variables. To do this, take the numeric value from basic, text numeric section of the widget gallery. First, you can change the font, size, and position. In this example, since two numeric values are to be displayed, the already formatted value can be copied and pasted again before the variable is linked to the element. To link the variable to the element, click the plus next to value in the properties window you will see your two codices variables in the window. Select the appropriate variable and then click OK. After the insertion, you will see the access type in the properties. Do the same process for all other variables you would like to visualize. You can run your project on your device by clicking the Download to Target button. Clicking the Download button will then start the download. 